Hi and welcome to another episode of General Nerdery. So I've been away for a little while, but I'm back now, and in this episode I'm going to show you how to send large files to people over the internet for free. If you've ever tried to send somebody a large group of pictures or a video file via email, you've probably hit the 10 to 25 megabyte limit that most email providers put on attachments. One way to get around this is to use free file sharing sites, and that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do on this episode of General Nerdery. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is, if you don't already have a program that can create a zip file, or if you don't know that you do, download and install a free program called 7-Zip. You can get this at 7-zip.org. After you've downloaded and installed 7-Zip, get together the files that you want to send and put them in a folder. You can send up to 200 megabytes worth of files at one time for free. If you have more than 200 megabytes worth of files, simply split them up into multiple folders and repeat the process I'm going to demonstrate. In this case, I have a folder full of photos from Katsukon 13. Mouse over the folder, right click once, and from the drop down menu you'll have a new option labeled 7-Zip. Select Add to Archive. This menu here will pop up. If you like, you can choose a different name for the archive, but the default will be the name of the folder. Under Archive Format, if Zip is not already selected, select Zip. You can leave all these other settings as they are. Optionally, you can encrypt the zip file that's going to be output. This means that only somebody with the password would be able to open it. If you're sending anything that needs to be kept private or secure, this is highly recommended. But you will have to communicate the password to the person you're sending it to one way or another. For the purposes of demonstration, I'm going to encrypt this folder. As usual, this is purely a demonstration and this is not something I need to keep private, so I'm not using a password that I would ever use in real life. Once again, never use the word password or pass as a password. After you've done that, select OK. And we now have a zip file with the contents of our original folder. Now that we have that, reopen your browser and go to mediafire.com. Now, there are dozens, if not hundreds, of free file sharing sites. The reason I'm recommending Mediafire is because it's the most user-friendly to the person downloading the file, in my opinion. To put it simply, the way these services stay free is that they serve advertising to the person downloading the file. And that's all fine and dandy, except for some of them are quite ruthless about how much advertising and how they present it, making it quite confusing for the person trying to download, also difficult to avoid getting things like spyware and adware put on your system. I have not had any similar problems on Mediafire. While they do certainly present advertising to the downloader, it's not nearly as obtrusive, and I've also never had any porn ads presented to me, which means that you can pretty safely send a Mediafire link to just about anyone. Now that said, you can use the Mediafire service without signing up for any kind of account. Simply take the file that you want to upload and drag it into this green box here. After you did that, you would just follow the rest of the procedure that I'm going to uh, demonstrate in a moment. However, I'm going to recommend that you do sign up for the free account. Simply go down here, click Create Free Account. The reason I want to recommend that you do this is because if you don't have an account, even a free one, then you have no control of the files that you've uploaded after you've uploaded them. They'll stay on the server until they simply time out because nobody has downloaded them for six months or however long they're up there. Whereas if you do have an account, you can delete the files after you're sure that the person you're sending them to has gotten them, or you can leave them on their server and uh, send them to other people at a later date. The point is the control is yours, whereas you lose that control if you upload a file and you don't have an account. So you just fill out the uh, very short form right here, and that's all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and log into my account now. There. After you've created your account and logged in, this is the screen you'll be presented with and this is where you're going to manage any files that you upload. Simply move the browser screen off to the side a little bit, grab your zipped file, and drag it anywhere into this area. Ignore that little warning right there. As we clearly see that the file is now uploading. I'm just going to wait for that to finish. Oh, 
Okay, so the upload is complete, and now we can share it. Simply click the share link right here. Go to share by email. Put your email address up here. The email address of the person you want to send the email to right here. In this case, I'm just going to send this to myself. And if you'd like, you can add a message in here as well. Then click send link and an email will be sent to that email address, to the recipient email address, with a link to download the file. You can close this, you can close this. Just go over here to uh, the email box. We'll uh, check the inbox now, and here we go. Here's the email that I just sent to myself. Now if I open that, a Mediafire user, General Nerdery, upload the file to share with you. File name, Katsu13Pix, download link at mediafire.com, this link right here. So all you have to do is click that link. All the person that you're sending it to would have to do is click that link. I mentioned the advertising that uh, would pop up, and, uh, well, here it is. But as you can see, it's nothing that really gets in the way. It's nothing uh, bothersome or offensive. Simply click here to start download, as just as it says. The Save As window will open. Click OK. The desktop is fine. Of course, I already have a folder on the desktop with that name, so we'll just uh, fix that. Save. The download will begin. Downloading at a pretty fair clip, considering it's a 100 megabyte file. Downloading at approximately 850 kilobytes per second. Okay, that download is complete. I'll just uh, minimize this again. And here's our downloaded file. This is the original. This is the one we just downloaded. Same file, of course. Now, to the person who wants to open this, all they would have to do is double-click. Oh, I'm going to have that same name in the same place problem again. I don't need this anymore, so I'll just delete the original. It's just a copy anyway. Now, they would drag this folder onto the desktop or wherever they wanted it. Now, once again, they would need to know the password since I encrypted this. The folder went out copy. And uh, it's done. Here's the one I just, da just opened up from the zip file. Here's my pictures. Don't need the downloaded zip file anymore. And that's how to send large files over the internet for free. For one final note, I'm going to show you how to delete the file off the Mediafire server. Just go back to your browser and into Mediafire. Select the file. Go to Actions and Delete File. And it's simple as that. The file is now deleted off the Mediafire server. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. If so, please remember to rate, review, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on General Nerdery.